Welcome back to the RV Rundown. I'm your host, Barry, and this is a segment where we take a look at some of the hottest RVs available on the market. Today, I'm standing inside a brand new 2023 Rockwood Signature 8337RL travel trailer. Rockwood's really cool. They're a Forest River company, and they give a lot of attention to detail. However, this is not a small travel trailer. It's bordering on a luxury travel trailer. It's almost 37 feet long and weighs about 9,300 pounds from the factory dry. So it's not for the faint of heart. It's definitely large and you can feel it here in this living room and combined kitchen area. The opposing slides and the arched ceiling really open this place up and make it feel large and spacious inside. It's like a small apartment. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. We'll get going right here in the living space because it is truly that. It's a nice open living space. You could just about do yoga here in the living room. There's that much space. Behind me, we have a tri-fold sofa. So this does pull out and become a guest bed should you need it. New for 2023, they've switched up the furniture. It's kind of funny. It looks like cloth but it's not, it's actually sealed. So if you were to spill something on it, it's gonna clean up really, really easily. Uh, so that could be a pro and a con. It has that cloth look, but it doesn't feel like it. Up above there's storage. That's gonna be a recurring theme as we go through here. There's a lot of storage built into this unit and they use MCD roller shades, both day and night. So you can see we've got that nice little light break as well as a full-on blackout shade those roll up and down just by simply grabbing them and giving them a light little pull there lots of led lighting throughout here just really make the whole space seem light and bright the light colors also help that across from our theater seating we have our tv and entertainment center new for this year they've given us this sort of brick inlay it's a nice homey feature for a fireplace that actually does put out a fair amount of heat those little electric fireplaces certainly help offset your propane cost in the winter. A Bluetooth head unit here slash sound bar that's going to be able to pair with your phone and it's going to make lots of nice noises. It's going to fill up this space with audio very well. Big flat screen TV. This is on a swivel mount so it does move back and forth and come out a little bit if you want it to. And I love the fact that that they've given us all this counter space that extends right into our kitchen. We'll get back to that in just a second because I want to take a quick look before we leave our living room at the theater seating. It's really nice. They've done a few things here. They've got some storage incorporated into it, a couple of cup holders, and they recline pretty far at the pull of a switch. I like that. I think it's a nice addition to this unit just to give it that residential feel. One thing that they haven't done is they haven't gone to a flush floor, non-carpeted slide like a lot of companies have. I personally don't have a problem with it. I know some customers are really looking for that though. Let's push into our kitchen. Again, I want to mention that, that counter space again. They've really taken advantage of using the entertainment area as kind of almost a buffet space. It runs right into our kitchen, making prep work easy right next to our three burner stove. And back here in the back, you'll notice we've got a little power tower that pops up and that has a wireless charger on top of it too. That's kind of neat. We have a Magic Chef regular old microwave up top. Lots and lots of pantry space. That opens up pretty big. And then we have a Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator. These are great, they cool down super fast and they don't use the old school gas electric stylings. The center has a nice little island here. Again, solid surface countertops, a big single basin stainless steel sink, nice high rise faucet for washing out your big pots and pans and more storage down underneath. One of my favorite things in this kitchen is this hutch slash coffee bar that we have here in the back. Again, storage being the name of the game, just shelving all the way across it. No lack of space for keeping goods for staying out on a long trip, both up high and down low. They've even incorporated a spot where we have a trash can. That's kind of a thoughtful addition because that's not something that's always found in RVs. Setting up a permanent ice maker slash 
toaster slash coffee maker is going to be really easy to do right here. And one thing I'd like to pull up that we've left out on the counter, it's provided with this camper, is a tire pressure monitoring system. So this is something that you can pull into the cab of your vehicle and you can monitor the tire pressure as you're rolling down the road. I think that's kind of nice of Rockwood to include that in the purchase. Now, as we pull forward, we hit our dining area. They've given us a freestanding table and chairs. I think it looks nice. It feels very residential. It is easy to get in and out of. They've left plenty of space behind it. And this does have a little leaf that comes out and expands the table even further so that you have just a little more room to eat that dinner. One of the things I wish they'd done is instead of using a pedestal table, they mounted it to the wall and just gotten rid of everything underneath it. But beggars can't be choosers, I think is the phrase, turn of phrase that I'm looking for there. This does work pretty well. Let's move into the hallway where we find our bathroom. Because they use these swinging doors and not sliding doors, we have to do a little bit of a shuffle in the hallway. But the bathroom itself is quite nice. It's very spacious inside. We've got, again, solid surface countertop, stainless steel sink, lots of storage in the form of medicine cabinets and cabinetry down below. Our shower, pretty good sized enclosure. Even me at six foot three, I'm not a, in the skylight, although I could be if I needed to, if I was any taller, there's still room for that. There's a seat down low. I think this shower is quite spacious. I love the glass enclosure that makes it really easy to clean up. And they have the shower miser system in here, which helps save water when boondocking. We'll link a video that specifically explains how that works. Again, storage being the name of the game here, they've got it in the bathroom as well. Plenty of space for linens and towels and other things of that nature. They put in a fantastic fan up high. This is covered by a max air vent, so that can run in the rain. I think that's pretty cool. Let's do the little door shuffle here. I wish they'd use sliding doors. That could be avoided. The bedroom features a king bed, and it does have this weird overhang that we see right here, but that's because it gives us the ability to put in a combo unit washer dryer if we so choose. It also provides a pretty big closet space for hanging up clothes and all of your goods for staying out for long periods of time. This camper's 50 amp service and has two ACs. One of them's right here in the bedroom. Everything is on a duct system, but you could cause that one to direct dump in here and really cool it down significantly. When I was, one of the things that's kind of weird about this is that there's no pass through storage out front. They've kind of made up for it in here in the bedroom by giving us all of this cabinetry. It just gives us a little more storage in the bedroom. There's this nice shelf here where we can set a CPAP machine, drinks, uh, alarm clock, you name it. Great front windshield lets lots of light in. And something that I feel is almost a little bit of wasted space is back here in this corner. They should have thrown a light in there or maybe even just extended the closet. I don't know what the right answer is there, but it does feel a little awkward. The bed has a wonderful padded headboard. It's got those great couples lights up above. Lots and lots of storage in the form of drawers and space underneath. And one testament to Rockwood's build quality is notice that even the bed is aluminum framed in here. Everything is. So we are six side aluminum cage. The roof trusses are aluminum. This thing even has Asdell built into the sidewall. So when we're talking about construction, it's pretty primo. The TV in here is right across from the bed. It's on a swing arm. It does come out and kind of rotate. Something that's kind of neat is that this TV is built into a mount that can come off and be taken outside and used out there. So we can pop this bedroom TV off, take it out, hook it up out there. I will say it's not the easiest thing to pop off, but it does come out and it can be used that way. Right here in our hallway, right across from the entry door, we have our primary controls for the RV. It's the new Wii RV touchpad. I think this thing is awesome because it combines the best of both worlds. 
it's no longer a screen that we have to interact with, so there's no boot time. It has a little sensor on it, so as soon as it sees movement in front of it, it lights up. So as soon as you come through the door, you know what you're looking at. All the buttons are tactile. When you push them, they click. And it connects back to an app on your phone via Bluetooth so that you can run all of it from your phone should you so choose. Up above, we have our Go Power monitoring station. This is equipped with a solar panel on the roof and it will charge and keep your 12 volt system topped off. Our air conditioner controls are right here as well. And before we step outside, I wanna run the slides in just so we can get a look at what that looks like. There it is with the slides in we really don't have access to much. You're not jumping into the back because it's quite frankly just really tight. You would have to run that slide out ever so slightly just to be able to get around and access that kitchen sink and some of the cabinetry that's in there. Even with it run out slightly, you're still not getting to much. The big plus here is that we do have very easy access to the bathroom with everything closed up. So if you did have a stop on the side of the road where you felt like you needed to jump into that bathroom, that's not gonna be a problem. The bedroom is not as great. Uh, you can kind of get in here and maybe get into your closet if you felt like jumping on the bed. So that's not terrible, but it's not great either. I do like the fact that we have easy access to the bathroom. Let's pop outside and check out some of the exterior details. The Rockwood signatures come in a variety of sidewall colors. It's kind of rare that we get a white one in, so this is kind of just a nice little break from the norm. The 8337RL has some pretty neat features out here, and some that I find to be just a bit quirky. Starting right up here in the very front, notice that we do have a power tongue jack up here. It's a a molded front cap, but it's half a one. It's not a full one. They've got this kind of plastically diamond plate down here as a rock guard. I do love the fact that we have that front windshield that makes it look super slick. And then the addition of the light bar is just kind of a nice feature too. They give us a big spot for batteries. Two batteries can fit into that case that's provided from the manufacturer and taller, heavier propane. Now, pushing back, they've installed the level up system for this on the passenger side, which I think is a little bit strange for a few different reasons. Uh, typically we find this on the driver's side. So when we're hitching and unhitching, uh, it's just easy to access that side of the car and that side of the trailer. Also, this has hitch memory height. So it doesn't make sense to me that it would be on the passenger side to hook up like that. It's just strange. It's not that bad of a thing, but it's just a weird placement for it. The kitchen is also strangely designed in my opinion. Uh, it's the typical rockwood rail system that we see where everything attaches to a rail on the sidewall. But for whatever reason, they stuck, the, stuck this rail right in front of the outside shower slash spray port and right under the TV. So like if you're cooking and the TV is right here, you're either blocking the view for the people on the patio or you know, you're getting bacon grease on the TV. That's strange to me. Now the bonus to this is that the TV is the same mount that's in the bedroom. So it's a little bit of a cumbersome thing, but you can pop that TV off of the mount in the bedroom and bring it out and hook it up out here. It's already with you. You don't have to buy an extra one. I do like the fact that they provided a table and the griddle. It's nice. It's just awkwardly placed on this specific model. I mentioned the level up. That's a really great feature on a travel trailer that we don't see that often. Most of the time it's just stabilization jacks outside. This is the true level up system. So it will level the camper. They've given us two very big electric awnings that run out at the touch of a button and notice that they have that AlumaGuard finish on the outside of it. What that means is that when you're going down the road, it's got a protective cover over the vinyl. So if you do run up against trees or anything like that, it's very unlikely to sustain any damage to the cover underneath. Beyond that, We've got a couple other cool things going on here. This was optioned in with slide toppers. They have those nice frameless windows, Bluetooth speakers outside so we can have our tunes 
and the stairs are strut assisted. And then here at the back, we've got a couple other neat features. Our fresh water entry port here for filling up our tank is right on this corner. But more importantly, one of the things I think is really neat is right off this back bumper. So they've got a couple of things going on. They've got a two inch receiver hitch down low that's rated at 300 pounds. You could put a bike rack on it. But if you wanted to haul firewood and things like that, we've got this awesome little flip down cargo tray. So I can think of lots of things like coolers, firewood, you name it. This thing is great. It folds up and out of the way when you don't need it. It folds down really easily just by popping out these pins and reinserting them. It even has an upright bar for attaching larger items. Super cool. Ladder leads up to our fully walkable roof and of course we're prepped for a backup camera up high. Pulling around the corner, we have our primary point for hooking in shore power back here. This is a 50 amp service camper. It is equipped with two ACs. And if you look up on that roof, you'll see that solar panel that we mentioned inside. Uh, they make use of all sorts of space here. Notice that they've carved out spots that weren't being used inside just to give us some extra storage on the outside. I do love it when companies do this, just take advantage of that dead space and give us as much storage as we can get. That's important in this one because I don't think I mentioned it when we were on the other side. I will look at it again up front, but this does not have pass through storage. Our Main dump station is right here forward of the axles. They have all of our primary hookups just above it. So anything you need to run in, our city water connections, our cable satellite in, all of that good stuff is right here above the main dump tank. They've even put the outside shower right above it. I love it when they do this because if you ever do have an accident, it's easy to clean up right there. And then pushing forward again, more storage, again, just carving out that unused space. So this is what's up under our bed. Kind of neat. All of our latches are slam latches with magnetic catches. They feel really nice. They're easy to open and close. And here we are at the very front where I know I mentioned it, but yeah, no pass through storage. So those two spots are really the only exterior storage that's on the RV. I think it's got a lot of really great features. I think it's an awesome coach for somebody who's a couple on the go, maybe a solo traveler. It's got a lot of great space and a lot of great storage on the inside. I could certainly see posting up in something like this for a week or two at a time. It's a beautiful camper all in all. I do like it, but it's one that you probably should make an opinion for yourself. Come check it out in person at Southern RV in McDonough, Georgia. You can also check it out online at southernrv.com. Please, you guys, like and subscribe if you love our content. And until next time, happy camping.